you stop making movies, that'll break your mother's heart. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. The Best of the Holiday Weekend is written, produced, and directed by Steven Spielberg. The Fablemans is based on his own life. Growing up in a middle-class family surrounded by an eclectic group of family and friends, more or less nurturing his childhood obsession with making movies. This is a movie about the three-time Oscar winner, but in a larger sense, it's about anyone overcoming obstacles and the roadblocks that life throws in front of you. All with the warm and witty Spielberg style, loaded with amazing performances, many of them just like the movie itself, sure to garner Oscar attention this year. It's a Dean's List Day in theaters only. Also new this week is the sequel to the pre-pandemic hit Knives Out, the well-done whodunit. Now back with the worthy follow-up, Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Daniel Craig is back as Detective Blanc on a private Greek island owned by a billionaire tech genius where a murder takes place and everyone in the all-star ensemble is a suspect. Well, not quite as sharp as its predecessor, Glass Onion is still plenty of entertaining and often laugh out loud funny. It's a Dean's List B in theaters for a week and then headed to Netflix. For the family this weekend, there's Disney's Strange World, the story of a family of explorers trying to save their world from a strange power outage by descending into the unknown world beneath the surface. Visually and story-wise, Strange World pushes the envelope of creativity with beautiful imaginative landscapes, a strong family plot line, but also the bold step of Disney's first gay teenager character, almost a non-issue in the movie, but treated with love and acceptance. It's a PG-rated Dean's List B plus in theaters. Lieutenant Tom Hudner, Jesse Brown. It's good to meet you. And if you like Top Gun Maverick, you'll like the somewhat similar aerial war movie, Devotion. While not copying the Tom Cruise blockbuster, it follows the true story and friendship of two elite Navy fighter pilots during the Korean War, one of them becoming the first African American to complete Navy flight training, all while enduring the racism of the day. Jonathan Majors and Glenn Powell star in this well-told Dean's List B. And finally, the first film in years that I actually wanted to walk out of. It's called Bones and All, a millennial cannibal love story. The story revolves around a young couple who both have the need to feed, feed on other people, that is. And the movie has no problem being fairly graphic about it. If there was any point to this movie, why I might feel differently, I was so distracted and disgusted by the blood and ravenous gore, I missed it. I'm not recommending this Dean's List F. Well, you can always get my weekly movie review sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999, sponsored by Chicago Symphony Orchestra's Merry, Merry Chicago, December 16th through 23rd. Get tickets at cso.org slash holidays. So where 